Hey everyone, auction preview number four. Um, yeah, all right. So I gotta figure out how to do this. This is the other John Mulcahy. It is a self-portrait at the easel. Then we have the Ernest Perry the piece. This is that great Edwin Dickinson. Beautiful. I've never seen an etching by him. Uh, what do I have? Nineteen sixteen. Cape Cod birds, gorgeous. Obviously important. I'm sure I understand. Ooh, he's not sure I understand. This is Constant Black, <laughs> Claps Pond. I thought it was a Ray Nolan at first, but it is not. All right, I don't know this. Um, Vico from Greece, he's obviously not Provincetown, but a famous guy. This is actually a collage. And this is Botkin. I forget the first name, uh, but it's very cool. It is collage, actually, so you'll have to look at the photos to sort of see that. Uh, quickly, these are the lot of Charles DeCarlos. His wife, Doris Dickinson, and his brother, Victor. That's Monhegan. All right, over here. This is the other Joseph Edwards Alexander. Another opportunity to get one of those. Then we come to the other Kenneth Stubbs. This is 1960. This is called Love on the Beach. It's an ink, ink drawing. It's rather sweet. This is the Nancy Wharf. Who's in who's that in my berry patch? Alright, Mudhead unsigned. Julian Cardinal, docked for the night. Really lovely, it's one of my favorites. Uh, other Charles de Carlo, shelf machine. This is Olga Sears. Uh, there you go. It's the French woman's house, it's Monhegan. Yeah, that's the right way. This is the companion piece to another little field that we had in a previous auction called Decorative theater figure or seated animal. Mm, uh, Henrietta Dunn Mears, probably sound artist, but spent time in Bermuda like so many of the artists. Uh, Alvin Ross to sketch the female nude. That's at the Mary Heaton Force House. Great piece, early academic piece. His name is Jacob Madsen, early, well represented. Comes with Saul Wilson. It's a nice little piece. It's got a little, just a little, not flaking, it's, I don't, it's just sort of little scratches, either abrasions, maybe, how you call it. This is one of the Captain Boltevics, the other one. Robert Henry, sort of love this. All right, now coming over here, this is Miriam Freed. So we have another Miriam Freed, but this is different. It's a collage. It's really great, obviously jeans and other materials, mostly fabric. All right, uh, this is the. Other Ellen LeBeau. This is spray paint on panel, I believe. This is Rob Adamick. Or is that how you say name? Sorry, Rob. Uh, 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 uh. Adamick, yeah. Um, great. It's collage as well. Handsome. We don't, have many, we don't have many male figure old pieces this time around. Mary Gia Marino. Love that. Carl Canass. Uh, this is the other L, uh, Nancy Ellen Craig, Ryder. Uh, old guard, house, light guard, unknown, Joyce Johnson, print, John Swift Long, love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, whoa, oh no, uh, Emily Walker. This was in the juried 
exhibition of Pam, titled Hayes Cottages, this is the Peter Hunt School. Yep, I'm going fast. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, this is actually an Adele um, watercolor. We don't have many Adele's. Normally they are etchings. This is the other Catherine Baltivic. Really nice piece. Oh, this is the other Carl Kness. Sort of an Indian Native American theme. It's done on the back of whatever that is. Uh, Evelyn Baltivish born. Never realized that this was actually signed up here. Love it. Hippos. Mm. And this is just an untitled abstract. This is hanging at Seashore Point. All right, let's go to the bottom row. Uh, this is the Alvin Ross. I think I showed it to you this summer. This is the Blue Lombo. We had not show this summer. It, it is unsigned, but it's a companion piece to another one we had. Certificate of Authenticity, Case Lau, Dutras. Uh, this is uh, Queenie, it's uh, Maxwell Stewart Simpson, and it is dated 1930, Provincetown. Obviously, it was in the gallery. Charles DiCarlo, Truro. Dorothy Loeb. Oh, this is the other Maurice Stern. Taos. I remember Maurice Stern, 1917. So Mabel Dodge, who he was married to, moved to Taos, started an art colony there, but they were soon divorced. Uh, Resica. And I forget, this is the portrait of. Uh, Oh, I forgot your name. Uh, look it up online. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. There's the other Joyce Johnson. Nice. I love the... Uh, uh, it's actually really framed nicely with this uh, fabric. Matt. Academic study. Early. Again, I'm doing this for context for size. Hold the Neely. This does need to be cleaned. You can sort of tell there's it's lighter up here at the edge, so this has does need cleaned. Although it, it's as as far as I'm concerned, I don't even know if I would because uh, uh, it's all uniform. So this is this weird piece. <laughs> don't ask me. It's called Doghouse. Sort of fun, especially if you're in the doghouse. I uh, can't remember the name of this woman, but it's a nice piece. Obviously, it's cataloged. It's really, really very beautiful. And this I love. I love this one. I forget who it is. B. Tossen. All right, getting there. Uh, this. Uh, Sorry. Oh, Joan McD Miller, 1970. I love this. The trees. It's very cool. Joan Pereira. Unusual for her. This is actually a collage. Uh, well, she's saying it's mono montage made with canvas. August Teat. And this dude, uh, Ray Kearney, or I don't know if Ray is a female or a male sort of fun product town. And I'm gonna do something really weird. I'm gonna carry this camera into the other room because you need to see the big pictures that are there. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you. That's the Peter Hunt table. Oh, this is a long one, but it's the last one, nine minutes. So let's just sit you here. There we can see. Okay, this Miriam Freed we had sold before. But just so you know, it's one of these acrylic on canvases, or excuse me, on paper. This is the Alvin Ross toweling off. There we go with this incredible, incredible Arthur Cohen. You will, 
considering what these are selling for, um, you will rue the day if you do not bid on this. It's amazing. All right, this is the Nancy Wharf. Big in. Look at this. Absolutely fantastic. So vibrant. So much. So many things to look at in there. Whew. All right. It's still hot in here like it was yesterday. And there you go. Can you see that? I don't even want to pick it up. It's Trap Boats. Yep. There's a Trap Boats by Par. And finally, I'm going to bang the big Vernon Smith 1930 screen over here. Talk about fantastic. Look at that boutique screen. Just gorgeous. Now, there is a slight doot, 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 little here, everything, and one other somewhere. You can look at the pictures, but it's gorgeous. Talk about a unique opportunity to get something like this. We sold out when we had a show of Vernon Smith a couple years ago of all those boutiques. So this is pretty special and at a really reasonable uh, price. So I think that's it. Let me know if you want to see something. I'm happy to come in and meet you. So do not, after the auction, say, oh, I wish I could have seen it. I'm giving you the opportunity to come see it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's it. Cheers.